Hi ladies, this is Johnny from Your Paper Pantry and Tabasco 14 from my eBay store. Please check it out. I sell wonderful vintage fabric blocks um, and they're really inexpensive and shipping is pretty cheap and I can ship up to eight of them for one shipping price of $2.99 so you can't beat that. It is under Tabasco 14 so check it out. Okay, these are the three um, pin cushion teacups that I kept from the teacup swap. I showed you the ones that I made that I traded out. I actually made four, but I kept one for myself, so I traded out three. And I am a very bad person because I had written the name on a little sticky note of the lady who made this beautiful one. And when you see this video, please send me a message here on YouTube telling me um, who it is. Somewhere along the line, the little sticky note came off. And so I don't remember who it was. All the teacups were gorgeous, as you can tell. Um, I don't know what stick pin she actually sent. They, um, I had taken them all out. But these are three of mine that I just kind of stuck in. But look at how pretty she put lace around the bottom of her saucer and some flowers and some little pearls. She put pearls around the edge of her fabric, um, some flowers and some pearls on her handle. It's just absolutely adorable. And again, oh, and there's a little um, applique, like a bridal applique here underneath her flowers. She just did a magnificent job and if I was a nice person I would have put that sticky note on with some tape. Unfortunately I didn't and so please help me out. It's gorgeous. Okay, now let's just put this, actually I'm going to move it over here out of my way because I have a couple things to show you. Um, this one, and again I just stuck some other um, stick pins in here. This one was made by my sweet friend Angie, um, Queens Bee, on your um, um, YouTube. And this is just absolutely adorable. Now this one is not glued down. Some of the girls glued them, some of them didn't. I did not glue mine down when I sent it out because of uh, packing, but um, I am going to glue this one down. And again, she, she used these beautiful little roses. I haven't seen them this small in person, so I'm going to have to get some because they're beautiful, Angie. I just love them. And, of course, this one's pink alicious right up my alley. You know me. Um, and then she used some beautiful lace and a pink fabric, and the teacup itself is pink and white. So um, this is absolutely going in my collection. I'll move it aside a little bit. And then this one was made by Cynthia Soto. I think she had a video up on um, YouTube of her beautiful, uh, that was the stick pin here that she had in it. I happened to have one that I had made that just kind of reminded me of that one, so I stuck it on here. And hers is of a teapot, and um, mine is also a teapot, just a little bit different than hers was. And again, this is all in lavender. And she has used the bling, the beautiful rhinestone bling, along the top edge. Look at this beautiful flower and another rhinestone in there. Another one around this side. And, of course, she has lace under here. And a beautiful, it might show up in your, on, on the video as blue, but this is actually a dark purple. Just beautiful. You did a gorgeous job. Every single girl did just unbelievable. Um, I just wanted to show you that when I do stuff, I kind of do stuff. These are some of my stick pins and the pin cushion I made. And here is, see how this one is? I actually have a pattern for this. I'm thinking that we may try and make these really really easy pin cushions on so crafty at your paper pantry in one of the upcoming months because it's very very simple and I'll just send the pattern out to everyone so that they can um, you know download it but here you go here's some of um, <laughs> my stick pins 
that I have uh, made. And here's another one that sort of looks like a cupcake. I made that a long time ago. And here's one that actually has a teddy bear on top of it and it sits on a doily and this is made the same as that other the other ones there you just take the strings and tie them really tightly and uh, this teddy bear I just basically put some fabric in the back so that it had wings I used to sell these on eBay actually the pin cushions I actually might start sewing them up and making some more and doing that again and then hold on Here's another one, and this one was for sale on eBay, just never sold, so um, I just have it hanging around. Big flower on top, and some flowers around, and some little, and again, it's the same way, made that same way. And then this last one is actually was made by a friend of mine, and this is, if you are old enough to remember, Mel Mac, that's exactly what that um, material is called that this cup is this tea, tea cup cushion is in the old Melmac and it's glued on so cute and these are just in this one are all regular store bought pins um, as you can see there's um, like that's a leaf and um, there's some that are hearts and stars, and then these these big corsage pins that you can uh, put more pins on to make um, for the pin swaps. So I just thought I'd show you, and she's got little embellishments there. But actually what I wanted to show you was a couple of my vintage pins that I have, and I'm going to try and lay them out here so that you can see them. I've had these for a really long time and they are just absolutely so awesome well first of all these three are old sewing machine pins um, the two singer ones and the, I guess that's Foth there you go anyway I wouldn't give those up for anything they're so cool and then this one which it's a butterfly and it moves. Is that really cool or what? And these are all vintage. I did not make these. You can tell by the way they're done in the back. Here's another butterfly. This one does not move, but it is original on its post. Here's one that um, I don't know exactly. Someone probably made this one, but I had gotten this one a long time ago and it's um, some beads hanging. If they did make it themselves, um, oops, there goes my phone. Hold on a second. It's got a pointed edge. Bri, hold on a second. Don't speak. Thank you. <laughs> That's my son in North Carolina. So I'll finish up this video real quick so I can talk to him. Um, here's another butterfly. Here is another butterfly. Here are two butterflies together. There's another silver butterfly. I, got, I don't know where I got these butterflies. In fact, you know, a lot of these stick pins, um, these butterfly ones, were actually, believe it or not, they were really stick pins. You remember back years ago, for us old people who might remember, um, on your on your outfits you actually wore a stick pin and you had a little thing at the bottom where you put them on your blouses and your jackets and that's actually what these are these butterflies in fact um, even this one that wiggles is one of those from years and years ago it's very long and you had one of those little brackets that you fit down on the bottom um, so that you wouldn't get poked with it when you put it through your jacket or your sweater. So anyway, um, that's it. I just wanted you to see some of my crazy stick pins and the beautiful um, teacup pin cushions from your paper pantry. And please, the young lady who made this gorgeous one, send me a message. 
and I will put it back up in the description. I apologize that I lost a little sticky note. Have a great Friday night, a wonderful weekend, and um, Pinkalicious hugs to you all, and ciao, ciao, ciao!